Hi guys, I wanted to come to you today with a Wilma's handmade wax haul. It's the first time that I've ordered from her. If my hair is looking all some kind of wonky, just ignore it, I do. Um, I'm getting my hair cut again tomorrow, so um, I'm not real sure. I try to straighten it out and pff, I give up. Anyways, so I ordered from Wilma's and the first thing that I got from her was not wax related. Well, it's wax related, but it wasn't wax. I got these polypropylene bags. They're the four by six zip bags. Um, these are the bags that do not leach your scent out of your wax like the Ziploc bags you buy at the grocery store does. So I bought these and I think they were $5. And of course, um, I don't exact. I think this size is $275 from her and this size is $395. So those are the two sizes that I got from Wilma. And then she did give me a free sample and it is of lavender and it is of a herbal lavender and I'm not a big fan of herbal lavender. No, not, not a big fan. But you'll love this one. I ordered sweet lavender from her or lavender dreams and her description is our sweet lavender so i actually do like this one it's much sweeter it doesn't have that herbal that this one does i think i could put this in my room at night and not have any problems with this one so I'm going to give this a try. If I like this, I will definitely order more from her on this. And there's one at the end. I have no idea what to do with it. So um, if you all have some suggestions, really, some, <laughs> some suggestions, I cannot talk today for some reason. Um, please let me know, but I'll show you that one at the end because it just has me bum fuzzled. I don't know. So the next one I got was milk chocolate. And this one smells just like the hot cocoa and cream from uh, Bath and Body Works that came out this last Christmas. It is that Nestle Quick scent. That's what it is, and it smells really good. And it almost has like the a chocolate chip cookie scent, but it's more the Nestle Quick. I just kind of got that chocolate chip. It reminded me of that just the, this time that I opened it. Um, I have shot this video. Yesterday I shot this video, and I was all over the place. You all couldn't have kept up with that video if you would have tried. So I, I'm reshooting it today, thankfully, because whew, it was bad. So the next one I have is Chocolate Orchid. And I got this scent from Destination Wax as well. And someone left in my comments, because it was very obvious from the last video, I had no clue what I was talking about. Um, that there is actually a orchid out there that smells like chocolate, has a chocolatey scent to it. I did not know that. I just thought they were blending an orchid smell and chocolate together. Had no idea. So thank you whoever left that comment to me. Um, because I had no idea that there was... I just know to stay away from orchids because they have really long um, stems and then the really beautiful flowers and... That's just like an accident waiting to happen with me. And my mom used to have um, these big, beautiful flowers in, I can't even remember what they were called, but at Christmas time, and they had a big, tall green stem and a beautiful red flower. And she made sure I stayed away from them. And she actually tied a stick around it with a little string in case I got near it because I'm accident prone. So, anyways, back to the wax. Here we go again. I'm off focus again. But, this has kind of a floral, perfumey smell. I don't really get any chocolate. But on the Destination Wax, I got that perfumey, floral smell. And it's not a awful, you know, outrageous floral smell. But I got caramel from the last one. So I want to melt this one. I want to try these up against each other. And I may do a video and let you know about these two scents. Because I really like this. And I have already placed another order. And I ordered some more of this from both of the places. So on cold, I love it. I don't know why I ordered some more. But trust me, I've ordered wax. Because when it gets summer here, I have to shut it down in Oklahoma. Because it gets so hot. So... I'm trying to get through, get as much as I can in right now. 
So, did that. And then this one, Canada Kim and I love this candle from Root Candle. And it's called tobacco vanilla vanilla tobacco I'm not real sure and so this is why I think I ordered this one and it's called sweet tobacco leaf and I wanted to see what it was like and I haven't been reading you these descriptions the chocolate orchid says it is a lightly chocolatey sweet floral scent that does surprise you with the delightfulness and the sweet tobacco leaf which is this one is a fabulous sweet and moist tobacco scent so it just smells like a tobacco leaf um, I kind of get that scent that I get from the tobacco and vanilla out of here but it doesn't have the vanilla so or the vanilla so I may try to put some vanilla with this and see how that works out um, so we'll see on that one. It just intrigued me. I guess when I saw that sweet tobacco leaf, I had to have it to see if it was anything, any of the notes kind of like that candle that um, Kim and I love so much. And then the next two are Lush inspired ones. And the first one is the Rose Jam type. And she says it's feminine rose blended with sweet citrus notes and geranium inspired by Lush. And this does, it smells just like the Rose Jam. And this is like the first time I found it where it was just by itself. So I wanted to try it just by itself because I have some stuff that's in my um, Sassy Girl haul that I'm going to um, film next. And it is mixed with things. So this one is just by itself. So I wanted to try it by itself and I may mix it with something else later. So definitely love this. Absolutely loving that. And I don't think I ordered more of this right now because I have the other stuff from Sassy Girl. One that I, I love this scent. It's a lush scent. If you've been around here any length of time, you know what it is. Um, and so I wanted to try this and see if it was true to form and it is and it is the karma I absolutely love the karma lotion from um, Lush but it's like 30 or 40 dollars and I'm not paying that so I wanted to see if this was anything like it and it says the notes are patchouli lemongrass sweet orange and lavender inspired by Lush and this smells exactly like the lotion from Lush so I would much rather buy a $1.38 bottle of this coconut lotion and pay $3.75 for wax melts and get a ton more wax melts. $30 or $40 worth of wax melts, that's like 10 packs of this almost. Um, so I would rather do this than get a little bottle or little tub of their wax not their wax their lotion I would rather do this so this smells exactly like their karma and I did order another bag or two of this I can't remember what I ordered there's no telling so and then the last one I'm gonna need some of your help if you've ever ordered from her because I do not know what to do with this scent and it is sugared milk and I did not know what it was going to be like but I decided to try it out I thought I could mix it with some other things and her notes says it is sweetened condensed milk wait for it wait for what my nose gets every time I smell this I, I get a cottage cheese smell it's a I don't get the sweet condensed milk because I know I don't remember it smelling like that and um, my mom used to use it in her coffee and I don't ever remember that smell because I put it in my coffee too and um, so I get it's kind of got that sour milk smell in it and that cottage cheese or whatever so if any of you have ever used this please let me know what you blend it with I'm gonna try to blend it with some sweeter scents or like a strawberry or something like that to see if it blends out well um it may smell like this on cold and it may have a totally different smell on um 
you know, when, I, on, when I'm melting it. So I don't know. So if you've had experience with this, please let me know because right now I am stumped with this one. Um, I don't know what to do. I didn't order this one because I don't know what to do with it. Um, I'm not going to throw it away, but I'd like to know what you all, if you've ever had it and you mixed it with something, let me know what you did with it um, because I would love to know. And so that's my first order from Wilma's. I did order from her again and I just ordered last night and it wasn't the uh, ready to ship so it's going to take three or four weeks probably to get it here, but I did order some more different scents. I did order some that were the same scents. I just, right now, I think the biggest thing why I'm loving the vendor wax right now is because you can try so many different scents. And with Bath and Body Works, you only have the same scents that keep coming out, out with them. And I'm kind of tired of that. Um, they just keep changing names on them. Well, we all know what they are. So I think um, that's why I'm kind of tired of that. Um, I will pick up Bath and Body Works candles still. I actually did a soap haul um, yesterday, and when I buy a few more things from Bath and Body Works, I'll bring that to you. Um, I still go in Bath and Body Works, and um, they're actually putting a white barn in here. So I'm like, yay! So um, that has nothing to do with this video, but like I said, I cannot stay focused. Um, I'm in a really good mood. I'm off for five days, and I'm happy. So I just wanted to let you know about my Wilma's wax haul, and like I said, if you have any... <laughs> Any suggestions on this, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to know. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to subscribe, please do. I would love to have you here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good day. Bye.